the stream starts soon. Oh my god, this music is so loud. Oh, the wizard's curtain has already fallen. Move the camera. Is that better? Oh, D. There we are. Perfect. Hello. How's everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. I've still got the the very, 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 very end of a cold. I had a had the end of my cold last week, but it's still hanging on in there. Um. But I hope everyone is doing well. Um, 3.17.2 is out for the Ibukati. We can't talk much about that patch, unfortunately, because I am an Ibukati member, and as such, I am NDA'd. Not talk about the patch contents or leaks and stuff about it. Um, although technically, if you if you fought it, you probably could talk about the leaks because they're out in the wild. But I won't. I'm I play ball. I play ball. That's what we say in whatever I work out. Um. But yeah, so we've had a lot more information on the Banu Merchantman, or at least we've seen a load of um, development updates on it, um, and sort of where it is. And there's been some interesting memes on the Banu Merchantman. Some people like the, the, its current look, some people are not so impressed, and some people desperately want it to look like its original concept again. Um, we have had the Banu Merchantman planned to look like it currently looks at since 2017, though. Um, sort of bear that in mind. I, I think it's all right. I, I'm not massively um, into the design of Banu ships in general. However, on paper and the functionality of the Banu Merchantman, something that does interest me a lot. Um, I hear people shouting outside my house, so if you can hear some weird shouting, I don't know what it's about. Sorry about stuff and things. Hmm. Yeah, so at a weird angle at the front of the ship, uh, the, the Banu Merchantman, it does look like it's got a bit of a duck, duck lips, a bit of a beak. But, I mean, it's only at a weird angle. It, it, yeah, with all the sort of ships and stars that's in Dayton, the 890 Jump looks like a PlayStation. The Redeemer looks like some hair straighteners. I mean, you, you look at it in different ways. You just go, oh, this, this, when I put a face on it, it looks dumb. Yeah, it does. I like dumb. Um... Uh, the pledge store still shows the original, not the 2017 concept art. Yeah, it does. I don't know why. It, I don't know why it's showing the old old concept art um, of the ship. Um, when it was on sale, actually, that's a good. That's a good thing. Let's have a look. What con what art is used when we go on the sales page at the moment? Uh, um, the... Oh, they are. They are. They've updated the, the art for the most part. I think if you go into the ship matrix, it probably shows the old art, but obviously they have updated it with the 2017 stuff. Uh, where it, most of where it matters. Um, but if you'd like to ask a question during the stream, please do. And it's the point of these these bad boys. Um, and you just say a question in brackets and then ask a question. And I'll come to it at some point. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I did like the original concept look of that much and more, admittedly, as well. Um, however, I don't really care that much. Um, I think it looks cool now, still. Just, you know, as I said, I'm not s super into that uh, uh, sort of Banu feel. Uh, which car does the front end of the Banu Merchantman now look like? Why is the answer a 1970s Ford Cortina? It was, it was just the, you see it at a weird angle. Now, is there any way to extend the SU amount a ship can hold? And if not, do you know if there's plans for that kind of feature? So, okay. There are going to be modularity for some ships, allowing them to have extended cargo bays, 
um, cargo bays instead of different systems. Uh, there are going to be cargo boxes, uh, and there may be some forms of external cargo boxes for some ships, like the Aurora, for example. Thank you very much for joining me today, everyone. It's very much appreciated. And uh, very thank you very much for the, all the kind words as well. I do appreciate that. I like how you call your green screen the wizard's curtain. That's what it is. It's behind the wizard's curtain. You're not supposed to see behind the green screen. Um, seeing the Squadron 42... Seeing that Squadron 42 finished all chapters last week. One, some elements... Like, there's still a lot to do on Squadron 42. Okay. Just because they one department or one set of things has finished... Uh, all scenes or all chapters or whatever. Does this mean it's nearing gold or are we still far? We're still far off gold. Um, the, and when they're um, at the last 10%, that can be the longest time uh, needed for sort of polish and stuff. So uh, sort of be aware of that. Um, finishing all chapters doesn't necessarily mean it might have narratively finished. It, 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 there's still work to be done on all chapters and all parts of the game, almost. And um, they are bringing a lot of the game up to um, sort of combat ready and fully playable. Yeah, so it is fully playable. There's still a load of polish to do there. There's still a lot of AI work they need to do there. Will there be any modularity with the Banu Merchantman? We have not heard about any modularity for the Banu Merchantman at this stage. Obviously, it's got large rooms. Um, I would very much love to see modularity for the Banner Merchantman, because there are some rooms that I would find relatively redundant when oper operating myself, like the prayer area, so the shrine room, um, things like that. Do you find Star Citizen therapeutic to your anxiety? It's something to focus on, so yeah, very much so. Um, streaming and walking and just doing work um, helps my anxiety a huge amount. I like learning, I like being distracted, I like um, being focused, um, I like working towards goals. So, Having a YouTube channel where I cover a game that I enjoy um, and really interested in, um, sort of specialise in it, it just works perfectly. Uh, what's CIG's main focus for the rest of the year? Well, it depends on the department uh, and the stuff. So the main focus, in my opinion, really is getting their new studios up and running. So moving to new studios, getting them up and running. Um, and then they've got some major features when it comes to the persistent universe that they're working out with salvage, the cargo factor, or persistence, and then pushing on to um, the sort of potential early prototype at the end of the year of server meshing and uh, pyro. So those are the sort of main focuses on the persistent universe front. Um, and then, obviously, the lion's share of development is in Squadron 42. Chris is in the UK as well at the moment, trying to help finish out Squadron. We don't know what that means. Does that mean that they're going to be nearly finished by the end of the year? Hopefully, but we don't know. Uh, how long do you think we will have to wait for exploration mechanics? So, I suspect the exploration mechanics will come in trips and drabs. Um, sort of little bits and then some sort of like a mixture of exploration missions, um, sort of extended scanning and detection, surveying, lots of little mechanics um, and then all add up to exploration as a whole. So it won't just be a bam, big exploration drop in my opinion, although there might be a, a patch that they deem as exploration because there is a couple of features which add to exploration. You see what I mean? What else do we have? Uh, should the sales pages be updated to actually reflect what ship looks like and uh, when they leave concept stage? I, I think the ship matrix and ship pages should be accurately updated at the soonest possible stage always. Like the, the fact that the website and the ship matrix is outdated at times and uh, things like that, that, that's not not particularly acceptable to me when the game is making so much money and they could literally have a staff member that's job is to go through and sort of make sure that their, their website is wiki correct. What are the chances they change the nose or extend it? Um, it's possible. I mean, the 
the ship is still being built out. The exterior is more grey box phase than, than, than the interior is white box. So sort of bear that in mind. So there's less changes going to be made. But there still could be changes. So yeah, they may, maybe they'll put something that's a bit spiky on the front. Maybe they'll, they'll change it a little bit. Um, it's, it's certainly not finalised. Hey, I have a question about you. Aren't you feeling burned out to report every day on the same game? How and what keeps you motivated to continue or work? Um, research reports. Um, crippling anxiety helps me focus on um, sort of tasks and jobs and stuff and work because it helps distract me. However, um, I quite um, I quite enjoy Star Citizen. I love the community. Uh, I like doing work. I like um, I, I, and my day isn't just Star Citizen research, Star Citizen video. I play um, games on my Steam Deck. I chat to Zin. Um, I play loads of other games with my mates like Lost Ark. Um, I'm sort of I uh, sort of a bit erratic with my schedules from each day, but um, for the most part, I get. Uh, I think over the last like, seven years, I've got over a video a day made um, and released. Sometimes I'm, especially because I've had a cold recently, like two and a half, three week cold, been pretty rough. Maybe flu. Um, I think I had a day off, or I, I, there was a day I didn't do a video because I was like, I'm dead. But I really enjoy it. So it's the fact I enjoy it. I enjoy researching. I enjoy interacting with the community. The community is pretty fun. Uh, my channel is semi-popular, so that helps. Um, there was new information about the Corsair. Are there uh, any speculations when it will release? So uh, let's have a look on the roadmap. Uh, so you might get some updates on the roadmap. I've got a lovely shiny hole in my head uh, on the roadmap. Uh, later tomorrow. Um, Corsair. Bring up the Corsair. There's work going into it from the vehicle content team that finishes sort of mid uh, late August at the moment. Now, could that mean that they're trying to get the sort of ship done for U4? It could. It could. It might be something we might sort of see a bit more of at CitizenCon, things like that. We don't have a confirmation date. We just know that there's some uh, more work that's not concept work that finishes. Quite a big spate, actually. So, right, so in in development at the moment. Okay, it could be could be some more major work. And um, because obviously you don't see some of the downstream teams, they maybe maybe they are trying to get it done for Q3. I mean, it's possible. It's not not impossible. I did not go to uh, Barcelona and Manchester. Um, I had a cold, and all of the hotels uh, were incredibly expensive because there was a load of other events on at the same time, um, which made it quite prohibitive. Even if I did want to go, well, I did want to go, but even if I could have gone, I wasn't going to travel with a cold. But I was coughing and spluttering, and infect people with that, and everyone's going to worry that it was COVID or something. So I thought best not to. Zin was surprisingly disappointed about not going. Um, Do you think exploration mechanics will be facilitated by the persistent entity streaming? Do you think that CIG intends to develop poop mechanics that we utilize toilets? Uh, I think that there's going to be hygiene mechanics which utilize toilets and showers and sort of like the bathrooms in your ship. But I think that's more of a, um, it's not super important to gameplay, but maybe you'll get asked to leave places or uh, attendants won't serve you um, if you're in a, like a landing zone, if you haven't used the toilet or the shower for a long period of time um, stuff like that. So um, I think that will be a thing to an extent. Um, do I think persistent entity streaming is going to um, help exploration game? It will help it at the very least. I mean, it's sort of part of it. It, it does, facilitates the whole game in the same way, doesn't it? Sort of like, um, and we'll certainly see more of exploration after it. Um, uh, hi, board. Thanks for streaming today. Wanted to ask, what do you think of CIG? When do you think CIG will physically uh, put physicalized damage and armor for ships? So physical damage, physical components, physical uh, armor, all sort of the same thing, um, as far as I'm aware, all sort of the same parcel and package, all very, very closely related to each other. They're currently going back over 
uh, all of the older ships that don't have the correct compartment sizes for components. So they're making sure that all their old ships, all the ships basically in game, have got all of the, the sort of component bays that they need to put physicalized components in, which is going to take a little while, and then they're going to put physicalized components in, which will then update the, the system so that ships don't have artificial health pools, you damage the, the component, and that causes the damage effect of the ship. You do damage the hull, you do, like, whatever that projectile hits, it hits. You can damage the, the field emitters or the power plant or whatever. Super important. Don't have a, a date on it yet. Um, they obviously need it for Squadron 42, um, as I believe. Uh, first of all, thank you very much. You do. Uh, you are appreciated. Thank you. Appreciated. Um, question. After the starting revolution from Inside Star Citizen a week or so back, the Cloud Imperium has an estimated 12 months to complete a ship like the Polaris. Uh, when do you think we'll see the Perseus? Or other unreleased capital sh um, sub capital ships. It depends, doesn't it? It depends on the size of the team. Um, it depends on um, uh, when you're talking about in the pipeline. Have they got a load of other fleshed out ships uh, in the line? Stuff like that. So I don't think that's much of a startling revelation. I think that um, something like the Polaris um, could take um, the, the the standard sort of size team for ship uh, nine to twelve months. Um, but if they have uh, a load more people working on that, they have the resources for it. They could have it done in six. Um, um, and potentially even quicker and they can work on lots of these different projects simultaneously because they've got more than one team so when do i think we'll see the perseus and other unreleased sub capitals i think you'll see a couple of them um in 2023 um, we could see something potentially at the end of this year but i do think that it's going to get a lot faster after they move away from a squadron 42 focus um and they get a load of the other uh, sort of core gameplay mechanics and including like server meshing and stuff um, because yeah they're, they're going to want gameplay to build that out and um, so one of the things that people that build ships can also be working on is locations points of interest and um, uh, internals and things as well so they're going to want a lot more environmental artists and and that sort of stuff as well but they can be used for for both eventually depends on their special specialty If you want a, a fruit loop, if you want a uh, star system named after yourself, you have to discover it or take it over by, with enough force that no one else can get in. Along, uh, how far along do you think the development of Alien Races is? Will we see all Alien Races in Squadron 42? So, no. We'll see the Vandal, definitely in Squadron 42. And we might see um, sort of the Xi'an or the Banu maybe sort of hinted at or maybe just a little bit but you don't necessarily need to interact with them so we don't know um, we don't know if we'll see any other alien races other than the Vandal and humans um, in Squadron but um, we might we might see little hints at them um, we might see um, we might see like an, an alien officer um, in the UE or something uh, do you think tools like medguns will be replocked or nerfed eventually uh, almost no uses uh, almost no one uses the multi tool hitting attachment, and tier three injuries don't seem common enough for medics to actually have a cutty red. Um, it was stuff will change and evolve, especially when you have death of a spaceman and uh, stuff a little bit more persistent and people not wanting to die, um, uh, or sort of like it being a lot more bigger deal. Um, so uh, I do think that the medical gun and um, sort of medi tool. Um, attachment does need to be balanced in some way so you go well actually it's it's quite prohibitive for me to bring a, a medigun although very expensive or something do you know what i mean uh, is there any plans for star citizen and squadron 42 to have jet or jump packs for players so um eva wise there's going to be different eva packs and, and different eva sort of uh, mechanics on suits um for flying around in space yes um for on planets we don't know um, there is going to be some way of surviving a jet thing um, on a planet's surface. Um, so, could that be a jet pack or jump pack or a parachute? Yeah, it could. Someone might be coming to my door. Which means I might have to... It's all good! Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Any plans to be able to sell ships back to the store? Yes, eventually you'll be able to sell ships, items, all that sort of stuff uh, back to um, shops and vendors and to other players in-game. Um, even if they are bought with real money. At least that's the plan. Um, and the 
if you've got lifetime insurance on a ship and you sell it, the lifetime insurance will follow the hull of the ship. So you could sell it to another player and they'd get lifetime insurance on the ship they bought from you. You've had lifetime insurance before, obviously. Georgia is notorious for putting up concept images in order to sell more ships. I remember buying a Mustang because of the concept image and they only uh, used... They used only to be really let down. They used only to be really let down. Okay, sorry. I, my brain couldn't process that sentence for some reason. Uh, apologies. Um, so, uh, yeah, CIG obviously have marketing and they, they, they um, put a load of um, the concept and um, update those images for ships. Um, on on the sales and stuff. I don't think there's any malice behind it. I, don't, I, I think it is more accidental, and I do think it, it's quite, quite genuinely. I would not attribute malice to it or the ability to... They think they can sell more if they show the concept image. Well, why don't they just build the ship more like the concept image? They've got the time and the money to do that. Um, they, the, the reason is, is that it's got a different route or whatever, which has evolved in a certain way, and it's typically the older ships that have gone that route because um, the newer ones are built on much more grounded pipelines so that they know exactly or they know largely what it's going to look like when it's finished even from concept and they go that sort of route and we see less of the sort of competing concept images early on um, but I, I i i think it's fine to question that sort of stuff and even go you know what they need to update this because this is this could be sort of um mismarketing sort of stuff i, I don't think it's done on purpose um um, and it's not, it's not like super, super, super common anymore. Um, I'm, not, I'm not making excuses for that. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, as I said, I don't think it is uh, intentional. Uh, do you think alien ships should be locked behind a massive reputation wall? Um, for easy access to them, yes. For like a Bally Merchantman or um, even the, the Shan ships, yeah. I suspect they will be. Um, they are supposed to be very hard to attain. Yes, so some of them, yes, for sure. Um, Bally Merchantman, for example, like Super Rare in the log, yep. And they should be, especially for humans to own one. Yeah. Um, so, a dumb comment. I think that was a good question. Um, and, and I think, and I hope that they are. So, I want lots of reputation walls or... Um, so, so, money talks as well. So, I do think you maybe, if you had enough money, you should be able to buy a Bannon Merchantman. Um, you'd be better off another player, I suppose, wouldn't you? Um, I don't want to see like people super locked out of having this something they dream of because it's super hard to attain something they don't want to obtain. Um, but yeah, you can buy them off another player. Maybe there is uh, ways of getting them just incredibly expensive. Like the Banner Merchantman comes up rarely, um, like an auction house or something, and you can still technically buy it. Um, or, or you could go with the Brute and be very friendly with some uh, Banu Solis and get access to be able to buy it from them. Yeah, I, I hope that's the, the, the route they go. How fast do you think the Mandy Birchman might be? I do not know. I have no idea how they want to balance that. He was supposed to be a blockade runner and pretty fast previously, so thank you very much for my mods being here as well. Sketch Therapy, Jaybird, your beautiful boys. Um, have CIG discussed how they're going to be loading things like the Mandy Merchantman? So, um, we know that there's going to be a mixture of facilities on um, landing zones and that sort of stuff, um, from um, tractor beams to cranes to um, hand lifting. Um, to things like the boop, boop, boop. doesn't actually do that. Doesn't actually have a forklift. The mule um, it does does have a grabby thing in the front, but it's not a forklift. Um, so lots of different ways to load and unload ships. The spiky original Banu Merchantman looks more like a vandal ship. Yes, it does. And that's one of the reasons I think they obviously in 2017 they went sli a slightly different route with the with the Banu and sort of like the fen Defender heavily influenced the rest of the sort of Banu lineup because they wanted to be a Banu ship and go you know what Banu ship this is what, sort of like the style that they go for obviously it is a escort fighter so maybe not directly goes well maybe the Banu management shouldn't look directly like that but I'm talking more materials and shapeology. Will they be able to capture ships and keep them definitely, um, like they said back in the day? I believe so, yeah. Uh, I think that if you illegally, illegally capture a ship, um, you might have to go through some um, go through some loops to be able to fly that in safer space or the UE space. But um, yeah, you should be able to capture ships and, and use them, um, salvage them or, or repair them based on the amount of damage they suffered. Are we going to get 3.17.2 at the end of the month or no? We don't know yet, for sure. 
It's in Evocardi testing at the moment. 3.17.2 is currently in Evocardi testing. What else do we have here? Where did you get your One Punch Man shirt? Uh, from... Bertie. Most of my t-shirts come from Gwerty. Uh, do you buy into the Banner Merchman having a third secret main weapon on the top of the nose where there's a huge filled space with what looks like a laser or railgun course? Oh, I see what you mean. I saw some bits on the Banner Merchman. I don't know. Um, there's obviously going to be reasons to... Uh, they, they don't like to have just empty space. Have they announced any other Argo ships in development? Uh, nothing that we're aware of. That's only unannounced things at the moment. Uh, when is my Odyssey coming out? Um, work ended at the start of May. And let's have a look. Um, I think it was just concept work, wasn't it, for the Odyssey that ended in May? Or... How do I spell Odyssey? Can't spell Odyssey. Mm. I've spelled Odyssey now. Uh, I don't think it's. It doesn't appear to be on the progress track at the moment. Oh, no, no, no. I found it. I found it. Uh, oop. I just can't spell properly. Uh, yeah, so the uh, vehicle concept art team finished work on it in May. We're waiting for um, some of the, the actual vehicle teams to pick it up and actually develop it beyond that. So uh, we don't know. It's going to be a while. I wouldn't expect to see it this year. When will we see work on the Genesis Starliner? That's a really good question. They sort of want Genesis Starliners to be able to move around the star system. Um, that's sort of an important part of them. So to transport NPCs and players uh, to areas because maybe they don't have a ship. Uh, in one area, but they do in another, um, which sort of makes sense to, to have that. Um, and there's areas at Starports ready um, for um, the Genesis Starliners to sort of land um, and to take off from, kind of. I haven't fully built them out, but they've sort of got the connections there. Um, I don't know. Sooner rather than later. I'm, I'm expecting maybe we'll see them next year. Or start At least work start them next year. Thank you for your donation, you beautiful boy. Galen, hi. Love your content. You're my main source of Star Citizen news. I had any news about updating older ships to gold standard, like the Herc and Scorpius. We know that all of the old ships are being looked at at the moment. They're being updated with the sort of compartment boxes, um, so areas for their components, so they can have this guy's components. And at the same time, that should actually be a standard, uh, a sort of uh, bringing them up to gold standard as far as I'm aware. So gold standard, for people that don't know, is the current sort of um, implementation standard of the sort of the top tier of the tech they've got in the persistent universe any given time. But changes are actually from patch to patch, technically. Um, but uh, the older ships were built on sort of old metrics and um, they need they need bringing up to gold standard, especially ones for Scorch 142, but um, all of them for us before they release the game. Thank you very much for that question and that money. I very much appreciate it. Um, Do you have any knowledge on how science gameplay will play out? I can't even remember last time CIG talked about it. So there's going to be a, a wide range of science gameplay. Uh, it does cross into exploration and various sort of uh, collection missions a bit and, and scanning stuff. So it can be scanning things. It can be um, finding um, things to be used as components for drugs or scanning those things down. Uh, it can be um, overclocking items and weapons. It can be using um, the telescopes, um, this sort of... Um, I can't remember what it was called. 
and there's a, a, a ray telescope for searching for anomalies uh, anomalies so it can be um anomaly analysis and it can be a general analysis of um sort of plants and animals um and um stuff in solar systems um it can be uh crunching data and so you're about to sort of detect stuff store data and crunch that data into other usable data or other valuables there's actually quite a lot that was going on with science um but cloud and have not talked about it for a long time. I think science and exploration are actually quite closely linked. The endeavor, um, yeah, is this sort of super uh, modular big science ship. And we've even got things like the Reliance Zen, for example, that's um science ship as well. Uh, will we be able to capture ships and keep them definitely? Yes, we will. We talked about that earlier. Do you have a significant other? Uh, less significant other. I'm not saying they're insignificant, just referring to a partner. Uh, I do not currently have a partner. Um, I am uh, too busy on my work. Uh, once I've... So, at the moment, my, my life, um, I'm... So, I, at the moment, I'm living uh, with my mother, um, sort of here when I was looking after my father. Um, so, I've, at the moment, sort of making sure she's all right. I'm getting settled. But now I'm genuinely looking for my own house um somewhere in the uk um sort of somewhere in england um probably um sort of south of england um sort of southampton area um or milton Keynes, or leeds or manchester sort of around those areas either because i've got friends there because i've got good connections there because I, there's a reason i want to live there or when it's up to leeds and manchester because i've got a mixture of friends there and it would be good to be near the cig studios um so and the house prices are cheaper there so most uh, donations and that sort of stuff um, at the moment will be going into funding the company still uh, but any dividends or monies I can ever draw from them will be going into my house I want a house um, getting a house is hard in the UK at the moment in England mm. but I'm looking it'll be fine it'll be good um, but no so once I've got that sorted maybe I'll look into dating again but uh, I'm not I'm not too interested. Robert Johnston, thank you very much for uh, continuing to be a member. 49 months just to tell me to feck off. Very much appreciated, sir. I hope you're doing well. Um, but I'm not um, particularly interested in a partner at the moment. Um, I, if I meet someone, I really like them. Great. I'm not going to rule it out. But I'm not. I'm, I'm quite happy being alone. Um, so, because um, I've got loads of friends. Um, and uh, I appreciate my alone time. Like, I, I'm, I'm bipolar. I go through stages of needing to be really social and then wanting to be totally alone. And I think that would be very difficult for a partner. Um, so. Any news on how long before the Apollo medical ships? Um, they're fleshing out the medical gameplay more and more, but they, there is no um, sort of lead time on the Apollo at the moment. Lots of people think that it was like a secret project to get them done this year. Uh, I, I don't think that, but... I mean, the, I don't think we'll see... I think we'll see more of the Corsair later this year. I think we'll see development on it. And I think we'll see like at CitizenCon and stuff, but I don't think it will be out this year. Will salvage ships be able to eat anything or just wrecks meant for uh, salvaging specifically? We don't know in the first implementation. It looks like they're about to eat anything, even the first implementation from what I could see the work on. But eventually, they're definitely going to be able to eat pretty much anything. Do you think that the update 4.0 would be a major turning point in Star Citizen? Uh, as they're supposed to... Yeah, so it will prove that they are able to get server meshing working to some extent. Uh, and there's a new star system, and that's actually quite a big change. Um, so it's a, a lot of other stuff will come online at the same time. But mainly, server meshing, new star system load more stability to the network code hopefully load more players being able to play the game in the, in the same server same server do you think we will get ship tractor beams um, working with the raft with 3.18 update so the cargo refactor and we do need ship tractor beams for loading and unloading really and they'd be useful i'm not sure if we'll see them in 3.18 i hope we do i think it's a possibility and when do you think we'll see the UI updates uh, to selling terminals? Um, they're supposed to be for 3.18, the um, commodity updates. 
and the selling terminal updates, as far as I'm aware. Any news on 3.17.2 wider PTU? Not yet. Um, obviously, it's in the Ivacardi. Um, expect it within the next two weeks. So it could be at the end of this week. It could be the end of the next. Got. Do, do, do. The law seems incredibly interesting, but great law can bomb bad storytelling. Okay, do you think Squadron 42 will have great storytelling and gameplay, or will we have another um, Cyberpunk 2077? Um, okay, uh, I th hopefully, with the time and the love that's been afforded to Squadron 42, they're about to have great storytelling, great game, great mechanics, great everything. Um, yeah. I don't think it's it's another cyberpunk situation. It's it's much more on rails. The gameplay, I say monster on, on rails, not really, but it's it's more on rails than an open world RPG or anything. Yeah, you're in the military. It's wing commander style. It's just a lot larger scale. Do you think buying ships will hurt the experience of uh, in-game progression? Only for some people that that will hurt that off. Um, but I think there's going to be a huge amount of to do if. There's no limit to the amount of ships and things that I wanted when I was playing EVE Online. There's no limit to that. I'd have hundreds of the same ship. It still probably wouldn't be enough. Um, so, uh, no. For some people that want to grind up and get something, yeah, maybe. Um, if they just buy, like, all, they've got dozens and dozens of every ship, maybe. But um, I think there's a lot more to do in Star Citizen to actually playing the game than it is about owning the ship. Uh, did you buy the Drake Kraken? No, the Kraken is one of the ships that I desperately want, but I don't actually have. Um, I don't like spending money on spaceships where I don't need to, because I'll get them in game. I will get them in game. I don't know if this has already been answered or if we already have an answer, but will we be able to play as alien races in the future? The plan is after release, they will look at potentially having the ability to play as other alien races. That's what they said. That was quite a while ago. When you get out of the gel med bed, how can you find? How can you get the stuff off you? There's no shower in the, the med room. Uh, I think it's more. So I think the gel stuff is more like, um, uh, like, it just just comes off. It's sort of it's more like jelly, yeah. But what's that stuff that like sticks to windows and doors and stuff? Um, or more custardy, but um, it sort of keeps the pressure so it doesn't it comes off. Yeah, sort of sink into it. It doesn't it doesn't stick to you. I don't know if I'm talking about non-Newtonian fluids or um something or the just the the sticky things that used to fall down walls, um, or just keyboard keyboard cleaners. Anyone sees one of them? More like putty. Thoughts on Pyro coming next year? Excited? Yeah, yes, I'm excited. Um, I'm hoping that we get the Evocati really early test build of Pyro and server meshing at the end of this year. It's a possibility. Much more likely early next year, but, you know. How much content will be available solely through RP? As much as you want, I suppose. Um, certain aspects of jobs where tech just won't be made. Would you think as much as possible? Uh, a lot of stuff is going to have functionality to it. Um, so I think there's even going to be like jobs for people wanting to clean up, do janitor work, pick up things, fill up um, uh, like vending machines, things like that even. Uh, hey, board, just listen to you on Level Gaps podcast. Uh, a lot of good points covered. Question, I know you're not a fighter, but any tips for a first fighter in the 1 million... Uh, UC or sub one hundred dollar range. Um, Gladius, I think, is pretty high tier at the moment. And when it comes to um, sort of combat fighters, um, you've got the Arrow. I love the look of the Arrow. Arrow is another good um, little fighter. I will do a little bit of everything in game. I just I'm not a great fighter. You think it will go up in price 
uh, when they are going to work on the Drake Kraken. But yeah, the, the, the Kraken and the Privateer will go up in price. Uh, all ships that are in concept that uh, are yet to be flight ready will go up in price um, before they're released. Any more info on work being done later this year on the Apollo? Um, no, I don't think Cloud Imperium said anything. Okay, no, there is some stuff on the Apollo. So the um, the vehicle content team is working on it at the end of this year. I don't think it will be released at the end of this year um, because really the cutoff for works here in December um, to actually get something released for Q4 for 3.19. Um, it's possible if it all goes well, you might see it um, in, in 2023. I didn't realize it was actually on the, the roadmap for some reason. Okay on the, the tracker. Usually it's... Yeah. Uh, that was words. Just said a load of random syllables. You think we'll see the 600i rework finish this year? I think so. Um, they've obviously been working on it now. The, the rear section of it has changed significantly um, for um, both versions of it, so... I keep on talking about it. Better part is into Star Citizen. Uh, it's irrelevant if they are or not, I suppose. You like them, you like them, don't you? What else have we got? Hmm. Shouldn't the Kraken come out before the Corsair because of the voting? Yeah. Yeah. It's based on priorities um, and um, the sort of resource management uh, and sort of teams being ready to work on certain things. So um, scheduling takes priority. Uh, do you know if they are addressing the ship's loadout, not saving next update? Uh, I would expect that to be sorted for 3.18 because of the nature of full persistence and load of the other updates. Hopefully it will be sorted in 3.17.2. Do you think they will try and get other ships like the Polaris and the Javelin done before releasing the Merchantman and similar ships um, due to their size forcing imbalance in the gameplay? The balance of the gameplay is important from patch to patch to an extent, but um, it's never going to be true balance or proper balance until we have physicalized components and then really all the other ships in game. Um, so sort of bear that in mind. Any particular type of fauna um, you would Personally, like added just more. I, I want to see a load of different animals. I want to see a load of different plants. I just want a, a huge amount of variety in this. Well, maybe not a huge amount of variety, just a good amount of variety. It's mainly a spaceship game, um, but I do want to do some planetary stuff and first person exploration and, and things like that too. Do you think they should consider having more experienced UI graphic artists, or at least? Uh, as good as the ship design. So far, not impressed. Um, I, that's fair. Um, I'm not sure why more, more out of UI. And they are working on um, updated UIs for each manufacturer. Maybe you'll like those ones. How many patches do they have for big ones? I mean, like patch 3.0 to 4.0. There's no designated amount. It's just when they hit big milestones, they, they tear up. BMM Tronk. I, I think it looks all right. I don't really see the... You can meme on anything, right? Doesn't look as cool as the original concept, in my opinion, but it does look more... It does look less like the va a Vandal ship now, so that's good. Uh, has there been any news on Theatres of War recently? No, but the Siege of Orison, they're going to talk about a lot more on Inside Star Citizen later this week. That should give you some signals towards some of the stuff they've been working on for Theatres of War. Um, hopefully. Because um, I think they are at least a little bit related. Um, Theaters of War needs better network code and um, better animation stuff done. And then it will be bam in our hands. They just weren't ready with it. They thought they were going to be. They just weren't. Ex expect any surprise ship release in November. I'll see perhaps. Um, that's that's quite possible. Um, ships in Q3, Q4. There's going to be some. I don't know exactly what. I'll see is probably a good guess. 
and likely as a wipe within the next year. I I'm expecting, I think it's reasonably likely, like 50-50, to be a wipe for 3.18. Will Jump Town return in 3.17.2 or 3.18? Probably. What else have we got? Uh, Ellie, you said that lifetime insurance would follow the ship if you'd sell it. Are pledge ships going to be sellable in game? As far as I'm aware, yes. As far as I'm aware, you will be able to sell pledge ships that you've bought. Eventually, you'll be able to sell them in game. Milton Keynes is now a city, eh? Does England have devastating inflation and crushing debt uh, related to purchasing a house? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah, the Apollo was on the Prager Strike. I, I, for some reason, it, it, it slipped my mind. Yeah, the keyboard cleaning slime is what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your guess about how many unannounced vehicles and ships we will get to see in 2022? Uh, probably another four. That's probably what we'll see throughout the rest of the year. Four more. Got my Prowler. What's your thought? I like the Prowler the way it looks. However, because of how cheap the Legionnaire is, and because it's more for ship-to-ship -ship sort of boarding in the way that I like, and sort of hacking into the docking ports, I, I just really like that. It's $100 is why it's so cheap. They say that patch 3.18 will get a three-month run in the PTU. Yeah, two to three months, but yeah. Will the pa that patch directly after... Will that patch directly after 3.17's drop um, in the PTU or will it have to go to Eve Cardi first? It will go to Eve Cardi first. Almost certainly. But... Has there been any talk? No, one second. Uh, what do you think we should expect to see on persistent entity streaming in patch 3.18? Do you think this will be a fix for us to not lose our ships from a server crash? Partly. I think there's going to be a load of network updates coming with that as well. But it is more that you can leave items in certain areas that should have uh, NPCs and items and tracking of ships and uh, salvage sites and all that sort of stuff persisting and allow for uh, much better performance um, and much better sort of appropriate things going on um, and interesting stuff going on. It, it's, it's more of a core under the hood sort of um, uh, important element for the engine as well. There's, we'll need to see how CIG actually utilise that in the 3.18 patch. Uh, has there been any talk about hiring NPC crews? Uh, yes, there will be. Um, you'll probably almost certainly see um, AI blades, sort of, and um, sort of making uh, using computer slots or um, modules to um, give. And turrets and other systems semi-autonomous use so you have like turrets that can automatically fire uh, first um but then yes you will both uh, eventually hire um, npcs um and there should be a range of skill uh, and abilities of those so that yeah you can play higher wages or find single crewmen or whatever and to be officers or whatever uh, will we be able to buy insurance after the game launches um so you're about to buy insurance in game yes the, uh, and even lifetime insurance and insurance that's covered at the moment, um, you'll probably want to get insurance in game anyway for that because it will probably only cover the default hull of the ship. Do you think the X1 will be finally coming out this year? I don't know. Don't know when the X1's coming out. There's, I have no idea, unfortunately, for that hover bike. <sighs> will we be getting the new reps, jobs, careers in 4.0 next year? Uh, yeah, we'll be seeing some, yeah. We'll be seeing some new stuff, for sure. Um, they're expanding out a load of the mechanics for, like, salvage and cargo and bounty hunting um, and that sort of stuff as well. Um, but there's a load of other things that we could see. Are there any plans for more planet-based missions and or jobs? Uh, or just to explore? Want a reason to use planet-based vehicles more? Yeah, me too. Um, they, they'll be putting more and more reasons to use them in uh, in game in the future more than just dynamic events and outposts but um, we will we'll start to see more reasons yes 
you think they will ever go through the Star Runner to give an elevator? You think they'll ever go through the Star Runner? Yes, I, I do think they will update the Star Runner so it has an emergency exit or elevator or little hatch that you can get out of. I do. Do you, you dual door juice? The little, I, I use mouse and keyboard. I can't even words anymore. Uh, I use mouse and keyboard for the most part. I do have a joypad. I do have a uh, Vampool Constellation Delta, which is the best HOTAS I've ever used. I just use keyboard and mouse mostly for recording and um, ease of use for switching from first person to uh, not first person. Robert Johnson, test. I I appreciate the ten dollar test. Um, tell me if you need me to send that money back to you if it was genuinely a test. Um, hope you're doing well, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate I appreciate the donation. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, doing a banning merchant in my face. Uh, what would be your first choice for a combat escort to fly with you to a hot landing zone as you rescue downed orgmates? I mean, I quite like the idea of an inferno. Ares Inferno would be pretty strong to just bring firepower into an area and drive off uh, any fighters that come nearby. Um, and there's a billion choices for different reasons you could use here and there. Uh, what's the base setup for Vanguard Central for BVB? I have no idea. I'm not a great combat pilot. Uh, I don't know the current uh, best best in slot meta. Yeah, the Prado is a, a very expensive, but it is cool. And it's going to have a, a, some interesting functionality of being quite stealthy um, as a dropship, whereas the um, things like the Legion aren't stealthy, as far as I'm aware. We've not been in the game for a long time. Will we be able to name our ships? Yes, you can name some of them now. But you will be able to name all of them in the future. Uh, do you see any role other than manning turrets a hide NPC would do most as good as, as an average player? Well, I, I do think players are going to be better. Um, for most roles, um, some engineering work. So you're going to have NPCs to do a, a large mixture of work. Um, it depends on how you sort of control and manage your crew as well, to an extent. Um, I think engineering repair, they'll probably be reasonably good at. Um, security, and they're not going to be as good as a debris, but. But Joan, uh, jo Joywin. I appreciate the uh, you coming here to talk, but calling me a little puppet of Chris Roberts is, is not accurate. Although I do actually, maybe maybe with this picture behind me. Is... <laughs> but it, you, you can talk about stuff you don't like about Star Citizen without being, you know, aggressive and offensive and sort of like a, being accusatory. Um, I cover Star Citizen because I enjoy it. I, I make money from people watching my uh, YouTube um, videos and donating. Um, that really helps. That's great. That I, I cover Star Citizen warts and all, and but I am excited for it. My, my bias lies in the fact that I do think it will succeed. I do think it's going to be a great game, both Star Citizen and Squadron 42. I really enjoy the news and researching it and finding out about it. Um, and CIG do give me ships for giveaways um, every so often. Um, but that there's supposed to be no strings attached to that. Um, I can do and say whatever I want. And the only things that I do have beyond that is I have an NDA, so a non-disclosure agreement. But when I do office tours, so I, I have to go through them. Am I allowed to talk about this? Am I allowed to talk about this when I make a video or um, see something at a studio tour? Um, and I'm in the aid for the Evocati, which are uh, the early testers. So I'm not allowed to talk about the specifics in the Evocati patch. So, uh, I, I think that maybe, maybe your anger is a bit misplaced. And also... Star Citizen's not a scam. It might be feature bloated, in your opinion. Um, it might be something that's uh, mon monetarily predatory, in, in your opinion. Um, it might be something that you think um, they can't possibly deliver on their stuff. Uh, but I do think they can, personally. 
Um, and I think they've been given the time and the money afforded to that. And you could certainly argue that Star Citizen is taking a huge amount of time and it might not be ready for the next five plus years. That is fair. And you can certainly say that people that were early backers didn't expect that. And they feel some of them are happy about that, some of them are not. But, you know, call it a scam, be angry. You're welcome to feel that way. I just think you're wrong. Robert Johnston. It was a test because I sent a hundred and it vanished with no message. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll make sure it's scrubbed from the system. If, if there's anything like that in there. Um, which I can tell you now, actually. Let me tell you now if your money um, actually came through. Uh, what am I using? Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Bear with me one second. I think hundred dollars is uh, is fair to just check, make sure that there hasn't been a problem and this man has not been uh, double or triple charged or something. Oop. Uh, you've got a token coming via SMS. What? What is this? Oh, so I had a problem today because my authenticator. Do I have an authenticator for this? Oh no. Bear with me. Orphy? Who knows? Uh, perfect. Looks good. See the things I do. Charity stream for mental health. Okay, I'll look at that later. Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking at... Recent events. And, okay, so it's not, nothing is showing up. God, ignore the haters. Your content brought me joy. Uh, so, I'm not going to tarnish anyone that disagrees or doesn't like Star Citizen or um, is uh, angry at me for some reason as a hater immediately or a troll or whatever. I'll answer them. I think that's fine. It doesn't hurt me to answer someone. It doesn't hurt me to reply to their, their comments. I appreciate that, the, the, the sentiment, though. Um, but, uh, I think, I think it's fine to ask questions. As long as people are, are sort of reasonable um, and they go, you know what? I I don't I have these problems that I don't want, or I think that you're getting paid by CIG. Well, I'm not. But you can, you can ask that question. Um, like, why, why wouldn't you be able to? Um, but nothing's gone through for, for $100. So that will, that hasn't gone through. Just so you know, you're good. You're good. Um, if it somehow has taken your money, that will bounce back to you. Sorry, Robert Johnston. I like your money. I don't. I don't want it to bounce away. I don't want someone else to have it. This is monstrous. Love you, buddy. Uh, how weird. Half Life Two took ten years to make. It's, and uh, one day, uh, maybe I'll get a Half-Life 3, although I, I probably won't. I get lots of Half-Life similarly named games. I do want to play uh, Alex through again, and then there's a, a, a sort of a semi-official, that's not official, but it's an, an endorsed mod for Alex, which looks fantastic. Um, or Float. Le levitation? Something like that. Life is a scam. I'm a scam. Um, what else have we got? Do you think enemy NPCs will respawn once players leave? Uh, so I think they'll respawn in, in spawn lockers. Um, and it will be appropriate to whatever the, this, the Dynamic Universe sim thinks. And then they'll move around the verse as well. Favourite meals to cook? I, I love a good steak. Sort of top tier meal. Um, I love my Italian food. Um, I uh, make uh, very good um, sort of um, Asian food, so um, sort of braised pork belly stuff like that with rice. Oh, I would love my rice. Any news on the Vault release date? Should be released with 3.18. Will you be getting a tour of the new UK offices? At some point, yes. 
Um, this year, maybe not. I don't think they're going to be ready to receive tours um, when those offices are ready and people moved in because I think they're going to be too busy working on um, CitizenCon and then um, 3.19, um, sort of 4.0, all that sort of jazz. Yes, I am in Ibukati. Can Star Citizen flop when the game is released? The money-making model after release seems not uh, to be enough, I think. Yeah, they're, they're certainly going to be um, an evolution to um, how they fund their game. I think they are going to be selling in-game um, credits, UEC, but let's see what sort they have planned for. Um, that's, in, that's important. They are, you can name your ships on the screen now. When I talked to Aaron about it in, I think, 2018, um, he said they won't rule anything out and they still plan to sell um, UEC um, and some ship packages and some game packages. I think I think they're still going to sell um, concept ships so often. Good board, hope you're doing well. The Cutlass Black seems to be the king of utility uh, for its size and, and cost, yeah. Uh, is this assessment correct? I think so. Pretty, pretty solid for utility ship. Uh, if you haven't checked out the board game Zia Legends of Drift System, it's a space game. It's pretty great fun. Okay, I'll check it out. I love my board games. Uh, of all the systems that are planned, what system are you most interested in seeing? Oh. Uh, Terra or Sol, probably. Um, with how long it's taken to develop, how much longer it is, still has, do you think the groundbreaking developments they hail will be antiquated by release? Um, I don't care as long as it all comes together. It, certain people would def define it as groundbreaking, sort of... Um, Leading edge. Other people will say, ah, oh, the Unreal 6 engine does better. Ship living. Is there any news on if we'll be able to cook inside our ship's cooking area? I believe there will be food preparation. Not super advanced. But there will be some, you know, there's food makers and stuff. So I suspect some food form of food preparation will be uh, available. And they have not talked too much about it. Ship customization. Is there any indication that we'll be able to repurpose sections of our ship for other uses in the future? Yeah, so um, there's going to be um, sort of items that you can place in certain areas that will have function. Um, that could be a piano on some ships. There's going to be modules um, that allow you to change the whole function of a room, but there's going to be items and modules. Okay. As far as I'm aware. What's the download size of 3117.2? I can't even talk about that. Were you surprised that there was no alien concept ship this week? Yes, I was, but... They probably were busy working on the rest of the unannounced stuff that's coming for um, Citizen Con and later in the year. Have you tried the Evil Dead game out yet? I've seen it played. Um, looks cool. Do you think the jail mechanic is as bad as it seems? Uh, to, as it seems to cause many people to just log off the game for jail time. A, a lot of people don't expect it. A lot of people can't be asked with it. A lot of people would say, well, I'm, I wasn't a criminal. Why have I got jail time? because of a bug or whatever and so and you can just wait it out so yeah i do think it needs to be implemented in a better way potentially and, and it can be yes i'm eva carty so i am bound to secrecy as, as you will say uh cool right any other questions i can answer quick robert johnston you are a beautiful beautiful boy i'm off to bed now keep up the good work um, keep the noise down, please. Good night. Take care, mate. Like, I hope you're doing well. And if you've got any uh, ideas for videos or whatever, um, I feel like I need to give something back to you for being such a long-time supporter. That goes, to be honest, that goes for anyone. Um, if you've got a suggestion for a video um, or uh, feedback or whatever, feel free to uh, message me, richardboardgamer.co.uk or you on Discord. Um, ever going to come... Ever going to cover Spectrum's trailhead feature? What do, what do you mean? What am I covering? Okay, I'm gonna message me about that again. I, I've, you've, I've got a big email from you that I read once during my cold, and I went, oh. and it's still, it's still at the top of my email. I've pinned it. I will read it again later today. Maybe it's referencing that. I totally forgot about that. Thank you very much for uh, support. Okay, now come mate. Hope you're doing well. Well, thank you very much for all the, all the love. 
I didn't realize you'd also sent me money, um, Greg, with your ignore the haters comment. I appreciate the money as well. Thank you. Um. And what do you think about Starfield? Threat to Star Citizen? Not a threat to Star Citizen at all. All it's going to do is bring more people into the space game genre um, fold that maybe want a bit more. It's it's Starfield's a single player game to start with. Okay, single player. Um, and it's going to be more like um, Mass Effect or um, sort of all out in space. So you can yeah you can build your own ships, but it's going to be modular. Um, I don't think they're going to be the most beautiful, but cool. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, you can better build your own bases. Cool. Um, but I do think it's going to be um, less. It's going to be more sort of a single player experience that you would expect, and then resource gathering, for the most part, and maybe some sort of um, random event stuff. Any idea why the star map update is taking so long? Is CIG holding back to unveil at Squadron Two? Maybe there's something they want to show for um, CitizenCon this year, but I do think it's actually quite a complex thing. Um, with a star map that they want to do because it's not just a star map they're doing they're doing star maps and they're doing i believe mini maps and they're doing the ability to go all the way from galactic map all the way onto a planet's surface and so it's actually quite a lot more complex and they want it to look great so, that's why you forgot you sent me out i forgot to read it again and it's sort of it's just there i was like i've read it I, 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 yeah, so apologies for that. I will read it um, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Let's say later today. But I'm going to go nap after this stream. Um, are you aware of any unannounced new ship manufacturers or does this fall under NDA? No, that uh, no, I'm not aware of any. Um, if it had fallen into NDA, um, I'd probably tell you it falls into NDA. However, um, I might not because that means there is... Uh, and I'd seen it somewhere, but uh, no, no, there's, there's nothing I've seen. Um, there's, there probably will be new ship manufacturers in the future. Uh, do you think they might make Starfield into multiplayer later down the line? Maybe. Um, I think it's doubtful. Um, maybe a mod will do something like a bodged version of it. Is Holotable in ship supposed to provide you with a map? Uh, is the holotable in ships supposed to provide you with a map with a higher fidelity? Yeah, sort of like a planning area, planning map, or some way you can coordinate things that will be sent to everyone, that sort of thing. When can we expect 3.17.2? Uh, so it's in Ivacardi's hands at the moment, so end of next week is probably my rough guess um, for, for a wider PTU. It could be end of this week, it could be some point next week. Right. Yeah. Have you seen any of the new Star Trek Strange New Worlds yet? No, uh, I've not seen, I've only seen the first two seasons of Orville. Um, I do have an idea, can even help with content. How to fix the Phoenix and why you should. Uh, that's the pit mate, more pianos, eh? Oh, thank you very much, Robert Johnston, you beautiful boy. I appreciate that. Oh, maybe I'm worried that your things are coming through now because that seems to be a while ago. Hmm. I just refund it. If that's the, there is an issue. No worries. I'm considering cryogenically freezing myself or having myself placed in medically induced coma while I wait for Star Citizen. Good idea. No, bad idea. Um, because they uh, the largeness of your your body um is prohibitive to being frozen. They can do it with smaller creatures and actually revive like hamsters and things. And they've been able to do that for quite a, quite a while. Um, I'm really much into um, chronics um, and the freezing because uh, I'd love to be uh, frozen when I when I pass away. I think it would actually help alleviate a load of my anxiety just knowing that's an option. Um, so I might look into it genuinely in the future. Uh, when do you think they will start working on the Rylan? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably start working on it next year. I don't think it's a priority. As uh, Chris Roberts and Jared are in the UK. Do you think the next year CitizenCon will be in the UK? Yes, I do. I do think that. No, I said it's so sexy. Uh, I'm an explorer. When do you think they will release some explorer content missions? Uh, I think we're going to start to see little dribs and drabs come in um, after full persistence. So after 3.18 and with 4.0 and like 4.1, I think you'll start to see more and more of that exploration style of gameplay. Uh, at least missions and, and sort of little dribs and drabs. 
Uh, any plans to have a ship dealer at uh, Microtech? Probably. I would expect there to be something there. Uh, can you tell me if the damn Chaos skin Orison works in 3.17.2 uh, so I can buy my Inferno? Let's hope that it does. I would expect it to. Uh, right. I am going to find someone else that is streaming and send you over to them. I want to go and have some lunch and then nap is my plan. Um, uh, oh, no, no. We're going to release a video. And also release a video with the Star Citizen News summary of last week's news. Uh, what's happening this week. That will come out um, in the next 15 minutes or so probably. Assuming that I uploaded it um, earlier, which I think I did. Um, yes, I did. So that will come out in the next 15 minutes or so. Um, who else is online and streaming? Oh, I'm going to pass you over. Uh, to Salty Mike. Uh, I love... I love the artist formerly known as Twerk. Um, I know not everyone likes his uh, grumpiness, uh, but I think he's a beautiful boy and he helped me out loads and he's one of my uh, uh, better friends in the Star Citizen community. Um, he's, uh, if I lived in the in the Americas, he would be one of my besties. Uh, I love the boy. Um, so I will pass you over to him. Ash Raid. Uh, and he's a good man. Give you some love. Thank you very much for watching today. It's very much appreciated. Um, I uh, have a load of other content coming out during the week. I interviewed Joe Run um, about um, Bar Citizens, and I'm going to use that to start my uh, Star Citizen Spotlight series again. So I will be looking for um, some organizations to feature and talk about. Um, you don't have to give me anything to feature on that. You're more than welcome to give a ship for a prize or try and bribe me. That is not going to influence the orgs that I choose. Um, I'll choose you, bam, get you, and then you feel free to give me free shit if you want to do like a giveaway. So just bear that in mind. It's not going to influence anything. Don't tell me before. Um, they want to know. Bam. Um, so I don't want there to be a barrier to entry, but I also don't want a, an org to go, they want to give something away. You're fucking more than welcome to give something away. I'm my French. Anyway, love you guys loads. All right, you're the best. Um, and um, yeah. You again hopefully later in the week otherwise it'll be uh, next tuesday or you want to on stream at least once uh, at least once a week on tuesdays and preferably on a stream twice a week again i had a cold and apologies apologies